Welcome to Kids Invent Toys, a wildly creative learning program from the Institute for Developing Entrepreneurial Action at California State University, Fresno, where we believe kids can invent. They have creative ideas and energy. With a little guidance and encouragement, they can invent a toy and start up their own garage toy company. The developers of the Kids Invent Toys program understand that kids learn best when they are engaged in the pursuit of a goal. What can you do with that? Could you make a toy out of that? During each week-long Kids Invent Toys camp, kids experiment, ask questions. <laughs> what do you think? Is that an idea that works or no? Okay, no? Okay. Build prototypes of toys and test them. Throughout the week, they keep trying to make their ideas work, which is the ideal way to learn. Kids Invent Toys is designed as a five-day non-resident summer camp for kids entering grades four through eight. The curriculum was developed by Dr. Ed Sobey, author of numerous children books on inventing, former director of the National Inventors Museum, and creator of the National Toy Hall of Fame at A.C. Gilbert's Museum in Salem, Oregon. Okay, this is Dr. Ed Sobey. Dr. Sobey, how are you? Hey, good morning. good morning. We finally got some kids in there, didn't we? We got them, <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, give me the concept behind the entire Kids Invent Toys program. Kids learn when they're having fun, when they're active, and when they invest their own creative ideas. Kids Invent Toys was developed by the Institute for Developing Entrepreneurial Action at California State University, Fresno, under the direction of Dr. Tim Stearns, holder of the Rygard Endowed Chair of Entrepreneurship. And that is to understand the process of creativity and how to come up with a way to market their ideas. Yeah. Doctors Sobey and Stearns joined forces in 1997 to run the first ever Kids Invent Toys camp on the campus of Fresno State, the kids loved it. Are you getting some ideas? Yes. In the summer of 1998, the Kids Invent Toys camps were offered again at Fresno State, as well as in other learning institutions located in four different states. Kit kids can do anything, and they always do. They begin the week with a visit to a local toy store to conduct market research. They learn what toys are popular, how toys are marketed and sold, and they fill out a toy store analysis form. Hey everybody, this is Tony, the manager. Hey, nice round of applause for Tony. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Tony, what, what are the fast-selling toys today? Spice Girls. Ooh. Then it's back to the toy factory to implement what they learned from their research. Back at the toy factory, the kit kids make their own creative versions of toys. They build mock-ups, test them, and then make better models. As the kit kids experiment with building about a dozen different toys, they are encouraged to think about what toys they would like to invent. So when you're trying to come up with a new idea for a toy, you can remember Scamper, and that will help you think of all the things you could possibly do. By the third day of camp, under the direction of Dr. Tim Stearns, holder of the Rygard Endowed Chair of Entrepreneurship. And that is to understand the process of creativity and how to come up with a way to market their ideas. Yeah. Doctors Sobey and Stearns joined forces in 1997 to run the first ever Kids Invent Toys camp on the campus of Fresno State. The kids loved it. Are you getting some ideas? Yeah. In the summer of 1998, the Kids Invent Toys camps were offered again at Fresno State, as well as in other learning institutions located in four different states. Kit kids can do anything, and they always do. They begin the week with a visit to a local toy store to conduct market research. They learn what toys are popular, how toys are marketed and sold, and they fill out a toy store analysis form. Hey everybody, this is Tony, the manager. Hey, nice round of applause for Tony. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Tony, what, what are the fast-selling toys today? Spice Girls? Ooh. Yeah. 
The Kick Kids then build prototypes of their toys and test them. They develop business plans for the making and selling of their toys. They devise advertising strategies and even construct a worldwide web page to promote their inventions. At the end of the week, the young inventors are celebrated by moms and dads and even grandparents as they display their toy inventions at the Kit Toy Fair. They even get official Kids Invent Toys patents for their inventions. All of this in just one week. Now, a nice round of applause for all the patent holders. The Institute for Developing Entrepreneurial Action licenses the Kids Invent Toys curriculum to museums, science centers, universities, and other learning institutions across the country and overseas. Speaking of kids, tonight super kids are using summer vacation for something constructive. And we mean that literally around here. Those involved in the Kids Invent Toys summer camp at Fresno State are researching creating and marketing their own products. KMPH Community Affairs Director Kristen Varengia has more. How do you keep track of all your Legos? Because Legos, most of them are so small, and so they're hard to pick up and stuff, so we just thought of putting them like this. Andrea and Rindy developed a simple and foolproof product called the Lego Saver and Table. With nothing more than a pipe, cardboard, Rubbermaid container, and a knee sock, these super inventors have a great product. They're hoping it adds up to a great profit. Well, we're probably going to mostly sell it at toy stores and on web. And how much will it cost? $99.99. Because it's really, really big. Originality is key at Fresno State's week-long camp called Kids Invent Toys. Campers look for ways to make existing toys a little better. For example, with a simple boogie board modification, you can look at wildlife underwater. This is a view board, and um, it's called that because we put glass right here so you can look down. Look out, Parker Brothers. It was board games galore. Don't even think about stealing these ideas. At the end of the week, these inventors earned a patent. Creating a product like the New York Kids Exchange game is only half the fun for these super inventors. They also have to come up with a convincing marketing strategy. That includes a website. I just went to a new web page, blank one, and I just typed in everything. And strategic sales tactics. So is it maybe about $20 because since this is seasonal, you're the one that raise it higher. Build it for less, sell it for more. In Fresno, Kristen Varingia for the KMPH 10 o'clock news. Did you have a favorite toy as a child? Mine was an erector set, but what if you could build your own toy and then share it with other kids? Cindy's guests this morning say it's possible. Cindy? You know what, Nick? Mine was a Pollyanna doll. I'm still trying to find one, you know? There's still that grown-up kid in me, you might say. You know, it's time to sign up for a camp that lets kids use their imaginations. And here's what some had to say last year about the Kids Invent Toys Camp at Fresno State. You never can say, I can't do this, I can't do that. They're called air floats, and they're shoes that you can walk on water with. You can do anything when you know that you want to do it and that you have people that are supporting you and people that are doing it with you. Oh, did these kids ever have fun? And they learned something, too. And it's time to sign up now for this year. Joining me this morning is Timothy Stearns from the management department of the Sid Craig School of Business at Fresno State, along with two young inventors. We have Courtney Shigarian, a seventh grader, and Allison. Okay, I'm going to say it if I say that. See if I... Uh, see, uh-oh. A Sifana? A Sifana. I knew I was going to say it wrong. I apologize. The harder I try... Dr. Stearns, can you tell me a little bit about the camp and how it works first? Well, Kids Invent Toys is designed to do three things. It's designed to give kids uh, some uh, work with imagination, creativity, and invention and entrepreneurship. And yeah, they so, actually come up with toys. Absolutely, and that is the whole idea, is to use a toy, which is something that 
everyone has familiarity with. Oh, we all love. See, we're looking at some of them last year, some of the neat ideas that the kids came up with. This was, of course, was our young ladies this morning who came up with the uh, interesting board game. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. But then we also had, look at this. What was this? That is one of the race cars that were developed and on a course that one of the kids put together, and that's actually created by the kid, that car. That is so great. Now, do you think we may have some future employees of Mattel? Uh, we hope that Mattel, Mattel will come and visit us. <laughs> yeah, certainly would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, I'd like to ask you, Courtney and Allison, a little bit um, about, about the game you guys came up with. How did you come up with the idea, and how did it all come together? Um, well, it was kind of like we, I don't know, everybody else was doing different stuff and we wanted to do a game. So we just said, oh, how about a game kind of like Monopoly and then put it together and thought about all the cars and stuff. Yeah, now the, what's the name of it and how does it work? It's called it, Rush, Rush Hour. Hour. Rush and Hour. It works just like Monopoly, but with cars instead. Um, um, oh, so I see like here you could have a Pintos. Uh -huh. the, the, the more expensive cars. Like Baltic Avenue. Okay, I like the Camry over here. Oh, I'll be over here. The Porsche, Grand yeah, Cherokees, the Ferraris. That's where you want to end up, right? Yeah. And what happens now? Do you get impounded or anything? Um, repossessed uh, repo. if you land here. Oh, the repo. <laughs> and then you can win the lottery. And there's a log card, and you take it up, and you look, and then it says, like, how much money you get, or if you get any money at all. Now, what did you learn by doing this? Um, uh, how to make a game. Um, we learned how to make our own web page, too. It was yeah. kind of... Yeah. Oh, this sounds like so much fun. If you've got a young one who you think would really enjoy something like this, kind of challenge them a little bit this summer, this is the camp for you. Thank you all for coming so early this morning. The camp starts in June and runs into August, but you need to sign up now since there's only about 25 in each camp. And so it's really on a first-come, first-served basis. So for more information, call 278-2841 or... You can email Timothy at the address on the screen, and they'll be able to give you all the information you're going to need to know. And good luck this year. Are you guys going to do it again? Um, yeah, I, I will. Yeah. All right. So you got to come up with another idea now, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they will. <laughs> They're kind of rolling their eyes. Oh, no, another challenge. Okay, yeah. well, it'll be even better, I bet. It's fun. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us this morning.